So it's come to my attention that a lot of people actually don't know how to install these cyberpunk mods that I've been showing off. So this video is to, to ease, your, ease your thoughts, ease your worries. This is exactly how to install these cyberpunk mods. So first thing you got to do, subscribe. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. First thing for real. Okay. I'm going to show you everything. Don't look at my history. <laughs> so I'm going to show you everything you need to know, including how to install them using Vortex or how to install them straight to your game. So first thing you want to do, I want you to download WinRAR. WinRAR. Okay. You want to come here? Just, just, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So just search WinRAR and then click on this download thing. It is free and you don't actually need this, but I use it and it's very helpful. Just click on this blue button, click it, boom. It's downloading. And then what you want to do, it tells you here, this is some instructions on what exactly to do. Click it, say yes, put it where you want to put it. That's this part over here. Select all of these. IS ISO does not matter. That's not anything to do that you will need. And then you're done. That's a win row, okay? So that's step number one. Step number two, Vortex which is just Nexus Mods uh, Mod Manager. So you download that and then you'll download the latest version now. Just install it and that is what this is. Currently mine has no mods in it because I have wiped all my mods to get a fresh start. So that's what it looked like. And then you just, okay, you might have to go to your games, select games, make sure you're managing Cyberpunk. If it's not up here, you just look for it in this or just search Cyberpunk and it'll be there. You click on activate and then you're good. It will pop up up here, top left of Vortex. So after that, you've got your Vortex, you've got your WinRAR, then you know, you well, you know where to get the mods, nexusmods.com, which is this right here. Nexus Mods, that's where you download the mods. That is what my links in all my other mod videos, that's the links they take you to this website. And then once you've found said mod, somebody asked me to install this mod, the Succubus. So you can either do Vortex or manually install. Vortex is you just click three times and it will be in here, but with clothing items, it doesn't seem to work with Vortex. So I'll show you the, I'll show you how to get through that. First thing you want to do when you go to any mod, all right, any mod on this, you want to find the requirements. These things here are required mods for you to be able to use the mod. So you'll just open those in new tabs. Okay. Open all of them in new tabs. And then personally, what I would recommend doing for now, because Cyberpunk is just killing just every update, man, you got to update every single one of your mods. It's it's a big pain in the ass. Just be mindful of that. As I said, with clothing mods and all this crap, you would click on manual. So I already have these mods installed, but I'll show you how to install. Once you've installed these mods, similar to how you're going to install this mod. So I'm going to go manual on this, on the Succubus. Click manual, download. Make sure you have the requirements. Very important. Click slow download. If you're not a Nexus mod premium uh, subscriber or whatever, I'm not personally, I don't think you need it. And then when that's downloaded, it's pretty simple. You want to go to your files. Hey, hey, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Back on track. You want to go to your files and you want to find this, your Cyberpunk 2077 installation folder. It looks something like this. Yours will probably look more like something else. Uh, this maybe? Yours will probably look like that. I don't know. It will look like this. We'll have the red launcher, mods folder, these folders. It will just look like this, okay? Then once your succubus is downloaded, it'll look like this. It'll have it. If you see, if you, I don't know if you can see that. It'll have a little like zip icon on the folder. That just means it's a zipped folder. That's why we downloaded WinRAR. So hold right click. So it looks like this. Then you're going to go to your cyberpunk folder just simply drop it in here and click extract here that is all you need to do mod installed that's it you're done and that's also what you do with these mods manual download mod installed it's a lot easier with vortex because i mean i could probably show you here i'll show you vortex this is a vortex installer mod click on the vortex thing up the top then click slow download and vortex will pop up and say blah 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 can i open mine doesn't because it's open and then here you'll see on your downloads, it's currently downloading. There you go, active downloads. And then when that's actually downloaded, it's automatically gonna put itself here and install and stuff. If it doesn't, you might have an, a notification up here that says, do you wanna enable the mod or do you wanna install it? Something like that, just say, yeah, just, just push it. And then it's here, okay? And then you have to launch the game with Nexus. You just push that button, your Cyberpunk will open. So we have the Succubus mod. Then what you wanna do is click on description again with clothing mods that is, and you'll want to look for like this. This is the commands you'll type in for the items. 
for the succubus items or the clothing items with uh some clothing items you can download the virtual atelier mod i have videos of that on my channel after this tutorial here you'll be able to just install any mod just boom 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 no problem no problem no troubles all those mods that i have in my previous videos 90 98 percent of them all do still work they've been updated they've been updated i would recommend for like non like non-clothing mods i would recommend just installing like one or two mods at a time then launching your game making sure everything's all good because if your game doesn't launch you know hey i just installed this mod or this mod it's one of these that are messing up my stuff so you just delete delete whatever's in the way pretty simple just a rule of thumb really so we get these these are commands the one of the mods here that was required cyber engine tweaks if you're not familiar that's one of the mods that actually gives you what you can type this into so i'm going to copy one of these the wings we just start with the wings then i'm going to go ahead and launch my game so if you made it this far you are doing a good job here we are at my mansion the Ghana game i'm gonna okay from here once you've installed all those mods that we mentioned just before you can then push the title key on your keyboard. That is the little squiggly line underneath escape or next to one. Push that. You get, well, not quite this. Yours will look like this probably. You might not have this. This is another mod. So do not worry about that right now. That's the AMM mod or something along the lines of that. And then you'll be greeted with this, this bar here. So then from there, you click on console. And then you click on this little arrow and this is what you'll see so it might not have this writing to be precise but this is what you see then you'll copy paste Control v that little command we um selected before and push enter if you see that just do it again and then you'll see looted succubus wings and then from there you can go to your inventory and you'll just have the wings right there oh, let's open it in photo mode See, you have the wings and that is simply all it is to modding it's really simple once you know what you're doing and get the rest of these commands just like that do the same thing copy paste boom you have the other ones and just over just keep doing it keep doing it and that's all you do so when you're downloading clothing mods that's sort of that's sort of what it is with the other mods they're all installed the same way yeah just extract them into your installation folder which is what i showed before that's this thing here i covered pretty much everything but if you're still having trouble like say you can't find your folder all right with your cyberpunk open this is the easy way to find your folder just push the windows key you'll see your cyberpunk down here right click that right click cyberpunk then go to like will that work if we go properties go go to properties and then you see this little window brought up your location this will tell you where your cyberpunk folder is this will tell you where you want to put your mods so if you don't know quite what i'm saying there i'll sh i'll give you like a visual description all right so it says here in my a in my a drive okay this pc a drive click that then it says it's in my epic games games folder that's this and then it says cyberpunk 2077 so that's that that's the that's the folder you want all right as you can see here when i open the mod it has archive and r6 which you can see in here r6 and archive is somewhere there archive so it automatically places it into those two folders if your mod that you're downloading does not have these two folders it has something else like it's just like just one of these type of things an archive file like this then you'll want to open up archive section itself in your cyberpunk folder and then you just drag it in here that happens sometimes i've downloaded some clothing mods that just have this in the mod that you downloaded and then i you just drag it into the archive section and then pc then mod and then you should be done but i don't see a lot of those mods i'm just letting you know that might that may happen your mod might not be installing and you you don't know why so hopefully this video uh, helped out some people because i've been getting a few comments that are like hey man i don't know how to do and i'm like hey you do this and then i don't hear back from them <laughs> i would greatly appreciate if you could sub to gain a game that would be much appreciated Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed or if it helped you out. Leave a comment down below if you have anything to say, if you want to clear anything up, if you're like if you're lost still. I'll try my best to help you. This video is the well, probably the best visual description that I could give. If I miss something, I'm very sorry. I'm not good at this, you know. I'm I'm not good at this. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below if you have anything if you have anything to say. Hopefully this helped you out. Like I said before. Adios. Oh yeah.
Also, everything like everything that you need that I told you to download will be linked below as well. So don't get don't get viruses. <laughs> so yeah, um, you shouldn't get lost. You shouldn't get lost. But yeah, peace out. <laughs>